Aha, of course, yes. I saw in the stars how you slew the blood defiler. I read your return in the patterns of the heavens. What I wonder is, why you thought it necessary to tell me? I am a seer, am I not? I suppose I should take the role of the proud patron, should I? Is that what would please you? Old Sharak, clapping and smiling and telling all of his students' great feats of skill and courage? I suspect not. Shall we try? Shall we cry out that you slew a beast born of ancient Acheron's blood rituals? Do the people of Stygia care for such greatness? I think not. They care only for keeping quiet, so the gaze of Set falls elsewhere, and the wrath of Tohomon ends lives out of sight and out of mind. That is neither cowardice nor weakness, simply healthy fear. But no more of this today. Are you ready to recover more of your past? With another piece of the Phoenix Medallion, the process should be even easier than ever before. Hand it to me, and we will see what can be done. You must concentrate on your rediscovered role in the world. Think of what you've achieved in walking the life path you now walk. With the power of the medallion, this should be enough to break another layer of the spell binding you. Now tell me what you feel. That's the point of all this wizardry. You're supposed to feel stronger. Tell me, how do you focus that strength? Do you recall how your spells were more potent? Do you feel your magical power replenishing faster than before? Do you feel your reserves of spell energy run deeper now? Then we are successful, and yet helping you remains as dubious a pleasure as always. Live with your new skills for a time, and we will talk once I have located the next shard of your medallion. Ah, but wait, I almost forgot to think that your gift almost slipped my mind. It's from Colonthes. While you were away on the Isle of the Undead, he entrusted me with this gift for you. I promised I'd hand it over if you lived, and unless my hearing is as broken as my sight, you are here before me, talking and breathing, and very much alive. Before I dismiss you, I'd say one more thing, and no more. Listen. For many people, their lives are devoid of real choice, plotted out by the stars, or simply beneath the notice of the gods. But you, you worry me. Old Sharak senses great powers arising, focused on you. I know of a legend about an idol called the Grim Grey God. The tale is of a god of chaos and madness in Atlantis, imprisoned within an idol of itself. I dream each night of that god, seeing and hearing Tohamon whispering spells to it. The sorcerer sucks the god's power and promises it a return to life. The phoenix medallion appears within my visions also, burning with light where the idol is utter blackness. My fears grow deeper and darker. If my visions hold any truth, and the god is resurrected under the sorcerer's power, Pohamon will end our age. My head aches fit to burst from the things I see in the stars. Pohamon's plans are written across the heavens, dark and terrible. 
and I wonder if this amulet is worth more than a mere means of banishing your mark of Acheron. Old Sharak sees what you're thinking. I've been wrong before, eh? Just a crazy beggar. More nonsense, more lies. Bar, be gone.